everyone to your Strawberry Moon reading. Strawberry Moon is tonight, June 3rd, so getting these up as soon as possible for everyone. This is the time to manifest on your dreams. Beautiful new moon for love, reassurance, right? How does it affect us? It affects our emotions, our relationships, the way we're inner, um, doing introspection work. What are we doing? Right, heightened curiosity, energy, spiritual healing and intensities. So really wanting to get in there and really get this, this message out for everyone. Right, so let's get in here. This is one of the luckiest full moons of the year. So let's do this, my friends. Okay. Okay. What is going on? We have the new start is coming already. Look at that. It's already saying, look at this. Let's get this new start going. Let's get this new ideas, this new partnerships, this new whatever it is you want, right? And get it going, okay? Speak your world into being. This is where you're manifesting and bringing that, bringing those ideas, those manifestations. Make them into three, uh, excuse me, make them into 5D right? And really bringing them into 3D, right? Really imagining that I already have this. This is mine. I'm driving this new car. I can feel it. What's the emotions that you have driving the new car? If you want this person, bringing them into, from the 5D into their 3D, right? But you will have to imagine that they're in the present with you. How do you feel? What are the emotions you're feeling when you're with this person? You feel happy. You feel great. You feel loved, right? Really trying to use the subconscious though a little bit. Subconscious is the daydream, right? Making yourself into the daydream believer, right? Not consciously really 100% thinking about it. The subconscious is that meditation area of your life where you're kind of daydream meditating about the situation, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, so speaking your world into being, what is it I want? This is my new job. This is how much money I make. This is, you know, and it doesn't have to be exact, right? It's just the idea, right? Because it doesn't mean that it's, you're going to get it exactly the way that it comes through, but it gives it that idea of how I could be prosperous and what I want. Look at the bigger picture. There it is. Looking at the bigger picture, making sure that you see exactly what you want, right? This is what I want, right? Feeling gratitude for this. Make sure that you tell the universe, thank you for this manifestation. Thank you for this person. Thank you for this dream. Thank you for this wish and feeling very grateful and, you know, that you have this opportunity. Thank you, right? Thank you for doing this. This is where you're honoring your feelings. Oh my gosh. Yes. Really honoring your feelings within this situation because it says it is your time to shine. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is gorgeous, right? So, and this is where you are. What? Attuning to the divine. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Yes. Really wanting to attune to the divine. Some of you might actually be trying to bring a Pisces into your world. Or a Sagittarius. I have two cards of Sagittarius and two cards of Pisces. You do not have to. It could be anybody else. I have Leo and Gemini, and I'm sure there's a thousand, you know, it could be anybody, um, right? So, yes, I am loving this. And I love at the bottom, it says, trust all will be well. So, don't give it any negative thoughts. You just say, this is what I want. I'm attuning to the divine for what it is I truly want and bringing in the prosperity, luck, and love into your life. There is no reason... By any chance or form that, that you shouldn't be able to have things. We manifest on a daily basis. Every thought we have, we're bringing in some kind of manifestation. We're bringing in, you know, something that's going on within our lives. Because, well, we're all energy. And energy brings things in. Right? So, really focused on what it is you really want, my friends. Keep the high standards. Making sure that, you know what, you repetitively tell yourself. Make it like a mantra. This is what I want. This is what I want. Once you're done bringing all of this in, you can let it go, let it flow, right? And let the universe have it. You don't have to, you know, do, you don't want to become obsessive about the situation. So you want to repeat it for a while, master the 5D, you know, bring it into 3D, right? 
so that it can come into the 3D for you. This is where your long-term view and hard work and success is. I am persevering in this. This is what the this is what I want. These are my sustainable results. This is my investment. You put in the hard work, and this is yes, where I'm manifesting. Shine for the manifestation. I am the creator. Tell the universe, I am the creator. Tell that strawberry moon, I am creating. I have the self-confidence. I have the willpower. I know what I want, and I'm manifesting the situation and manifesting again. Practice gratitude while manifesting. Look for the financial opportunities and the desires that you want. Diligently know what it is you truly want, my friends, and give it the positive energy needed. Oh, my gosh, how beautiful. Ushering in the exact kind of energy that you need to start the summer. Come on, right? This is your life. We all deserve this, right? Give that energy out there. Center your spiritual meanings, your desires of what it is you truly want. Being your own magician, right? You can say it's praying. You can say it's manifesting. You can say it's law and attracting. You could say... It's just me talking to the universe. You can wishing, however you want to call it. It's all the same. There's nothing different because energy is energy and you're putting it out there. So honor thy feelings over here with the creativity. You're doing it from your heart's desire. Make sure it's coming from the heart. You, this is what you want. Feel it. Put it out there. If you guys are looking for this Prince Charming or this Princess Charming and you know that I want this person, then put it out there. Feel that person. Know that person. Does it mean you get that person? No. Does it mean you get any of these? No, because sometimes God's rejection is our protection, or maybe there's a reason why, right? So just always remember that, but attune to the divine and have your Ten of Cups. Wow. No matter what, your dreams will come true in a certain way. Like I said, it might not be 100 what you're looking for, but you're definitely doing so. So let's put it this way. What if you're manifesting someone, okay? Okay, here's a really good example. What if you're manifesting someone and they've been talking to you for a long time, and but they're a liar, but you don't know that, but you're manifesting them. God's not going to let you be with a liar, so he's going to find somebody else. So you might not get the person that you're looking for, but it doesn't mean he won't call in another soul for you to take his place. Do you see what I'm saying? So his rejection would say, no, this guy, this guy's really not good for you. You don't really know what you're manifesting. Here, let me give you, he's upside down. I, I don't really like him. You think he's right side up, but I don't like him for you. You're too good for this person. You think he's this, but he's he's not. He's this. And then you could say, oh my God, how come I'm not getting him? Because there's something wrong with him, honey, that it's not good for you. It's God's rejection is your protection. But that's okay because I'm going to give you your Ten of Cups, but I'm going to give you the real guy, the real one that's good for you. You understand the point? Same with jobs. You might be thinking that this job is wonderful. But there could be a, a problem. Maybe the boss is an asshole, right? Or they underpay you. They don't. Let's put it this way. Maybe they don't give you paid vacations. They tell you they're going to, and then they don't. Something wrong with the job. And you manifest it, manifest it. I really want this position. I really. And then God says no. But then you get this other opening, right? One that gives, one that cares. Do you see the point? The same with this one. You don't want this Knight of Cups. You want this King of Pentacles. Do you see what I'm saying? So sometimes we think we're getting rejected and then our manifestations are not coming through. But then within a month or so, you might realize, hey, wait a minute, who's this King of Pentacles? How come I didn't get my Knight of Cups? Where the heck that sucker go? It's because the Knight, the Knight of Cups is upside down. The grass was not green. Lie, lie, lie. Not good, good, good. But I gave you the King of Pentacles because he's the Nine of Pentacles and the grass is wonderful and he's got flowers. Right? So we have to think of things like that. So that's, we always want to remember, okay? Do we truly succeed within our manifestations? Yes. Yes, we do. Do we succeed in certain areas of our life. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we self-sabotage the situation. Please do not self-sabotage the situation. Okay. 
So, yes, making major breakthroughs coming through with the with this. Oh, my gosh, and you have the sun. That's the biggest yes card of it because of what? The strength, determination, and the wheel of fortune. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes. And this is because you're manifesting the ace of wands with a soulmate connection. And some of you, oh, my gosh, literally waiting for this whole new world with this new job opportunity. Oh, my gosh. And you might feel like it's coming in slow. It feels like, oh, my gosh, I've been manifesting this a long time. But, yes, you definitely are having the financial opportunity coming through. Oh, my gosh, that is amazing. So, thank you, Strawberry Moon. Make sure that you are using the gratitude. Thank the universe. Thank, oh, my gosh, this is amazing. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful reading. Let's see what's going on over here. You definitely have the new start coming. When they said that, boy, they that was not messing around, was it? For some of you, you might even be getting love and money all in one with that Wheel of Fortune. New occupational. Some of you are looking for that new job. There it is. Wow. Your poverty is upside down. I'm not going to be in poverty anymore because you have unexpected income coming from the main mail. You have a beautiful change coming. Some of you have, right, an older male coming in with love, a message of love, which is anchoring itself, and the chariot is coming in with great fortune. Wow. And that's on the love area. This person could be, wow, an official who is known throughout the community. This person could be a heavy-duty person over here. You might even be getting a, a really good job where this, this place is really big within the community, right? could be like the biggest doctor's office in the valley, right? Um, wow, this is crazy beautiful. Oh, my gosh. It's on the distant horizon. That's the, that is... I mean, getting a main female. That's for male. That's for the males over there. Whoever, right? So we have male and female. We've got twin flame connection. Uh, wow. Yeah. Could be twin flame. I don't know why I said that, but it just felt like that. I don't know why that was weird. I don't really say twin flame a whole whole lot, but I did feel that. That's strange. Maybe it's because they're the same person, right? Soulmate, deep soulmate connection, twin flame connection could be. Okay, guys, let's get the overall card for the reading it is going to be, please, death card, overall transformation, having a butterfly effect, having the overall change. It says let go anything that's going to hold you back within the situation because your whole life is changing. Wow, beautiful. Yep. <clears throat> very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. And let's put one on the coffin over here because that's definitely the death and rebirth over here. Talk about that death and rebirth. Spirit, tell us what it is. Coming in quickly. It's going to be some fast thinking, you know, and you're definitely getting an emperor over here. So you're definitely going to make it into emperor mode. You are definitely, like I said, you're going to feel like you're on top of the world and that you're in control of the situation. This is going to allow yourself to head and live more within the areas of your life that you really want to go into. Okay. Beautiful transformation. Okay. Till next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye.